When an eagle swooped down to take a little boy away, his grandparents were surprised and scared. But the reason why this bird acts in this way will shock you. Leon's ancestors once lived in the beautiful mountains of North America. They have lived in and around green meadows, towering cliffs and majestic mountains for generations. Leon was born there, and he has been raising and herding various animals for many years. At the time, Leon's son was married and was expecting the birth of his first grandson. Leon was equally excited because he had never been a grandfather before. He is looking forward to meeting the new little member of his family. Maybe the child will continue to live and work in the area when he grows up, just like his generations. While Leon looked after his flock, he smiled and thought of introducing his grandson to the flock and showing him all the beautiful sights they were going to see. Babies will undoubtedly like to buy bleed furry sheep. But Leon had been lost in his own world for a long time, and night fell. Therefore, he began to put the sheep back in a safe fence. After all, wolves live in the mountains and can easily kill a poor sheep. With the help of his son and his trusted dog, the trio drove the sheep in the direction they needed to go. It is important that they enclose every sheep, because they depend on them to help earn income. Now this is more important than ever, because the baby is about to be born. But one day, Leon wanted to try something different. His days are often repeated, doing the same thing day after day. Even his meals are the same. But one day, Leon tasted the hare. He had eaten this small rabbit-like animal when he was young, but he had not eaten it in recent years. So, early one morning, he got up, picked up his equipment, and set out to look for the hare at the foot of the mountain. Grasping one of them to cook will be a pleasant enjoyment and a welcome change. The trek to the foot of the mountain took about half an hour, so he had to get there and return before noon in the morning in order to take care of his flock for the rest of the day. The sun has just risen, but the air has warmed up. To be sure, it will be another sunny and beautiful day. But as he was trekking, Leon heard a strange, unusual sound at the foot of the cliff. It was a voice he could not pinpoint accurately, but something drove him in that direction. Towards the bottom of the cliff, Leon's eyes were widened by the sight before him. It was a beautiful, huge and majestic eagle, but something was wrong. It screamed in pain. It seems to have damaged its wings. As soon as the eagle saw Leon, it wanted to flutter its wings and fly, but it never left the ground. Leon wondered if it had damaged its wings while fighting with animals. He guessed he would never know, but what he knew was that he had to help the poor bird. Taking off his jacket, Leon gently wrapped it around the eagle. It no longer struggles, just looks at him, as if praying for a man's help. Leon carried the eagle all the way home. He was amazed at how heavy and huge the birds were. They dive and soar all the way in the sky, and they don't look big. When he got home, Leon ordered his son to take the sheep to the field. Then he took the eagle to a room in his house, where he began to wash the injured wing and treat it with medicine, gauze and bandages. He even brought the eagle some meat to eat, hoping it would keep its strength. Once his work was done and he was satisfied with the eagle's wings, he created a habitat for it and brought it extra food and water during its recovery. Leon didn't want to keep the eagle forever. He just wanted to make sure it was safe and good enough to be put back into the wild. The eagle seemed to understand this, and was very grateful to the man for his efforts. But one day, the eagle finally recovered and could fly. So all the Leon family gathered outside and watched the beautiful bird soar into the air and fly back to the mountain where it used to be. But this is not the last time Leon will see the eagle. It would visit the house every few days, and even sit in the field next to Leon and guard his flock. This is an unlikely friendship, which stems from a kind and simple act. Ten months later, Leon finally had a grandson, a little boy named Tony. He was born in a family mansion and is a strong and beautiful child. One of the most amazing things about birthday is that the eagle greets the baby there. It watched with curiosity as Leon held his baby, then flew away screaming, 
circling happily in the air. Shortly after Tony was born, the whole family held a big party to celebrate the arrival of the new couple. Not only are all of Leon's family there, but the extended family has embarked on a journey to meet this new excellent member of their family. They brought food and presents, and everyone was chatting happily, eating, drinking, and above all, cooing to the beautiful little baby boy sitting in the crib in the middle of the room. Walking outside for a little fresh air, Leon heard a familiar scream. He knew at once that it was the eagle he had saved. Looking around, I saw it swooping down and landing only a few feet away from him. However, it behaved a little strangely, making strange chirps and flapping its huge wings from time to time. Leon frowned, wondering if it wanted to meet the baby, so he went into the room and held Tony. No sooner had he returned outside, however, than the eagle flapped his wings into the air, but just as it did so it seized Tony's little shoulder and flew away with him. Leon got a fright, and the whole person froze in place. What is the eagle doing? Why would it do that? When he came to his senses, Leon ran into the house and shouted that the eagle had taken the child. They ran out without thinking and began to chase the eagle flying not far away. People are afraid that the eagle will drop the child. If this happens, the result will be disastrous. But the family chased for less than a minute, and there was a huge rumble behind them. Turning around, they looked in the direction of the house where they were just now. In front of them, there was a towering cliff, which had begun to collapse. Several huge boulders began to fall from the cliff, and several of them smashed into the house and smashed it like paper. The whole family watched in amazement, and just then the eagle came back with Tony, gently laid him on the ground, and then jumped back a few feet so that he could be quickly picked up by his parents. When everyone was running around the baby, watching him and making sure he was all right, Leon walked over to the eagle. Somehow, the eagle knew that the landslide was coming, and he knew to save the child. Leon was unable to express his gratitude and gratitude to the bird. Perhaps this is the eagle's way to repay Leon's kindness. He would never really know, but all he knew was that the bird had saved all their lives, for which he would always be grateful. It is normal for William Brusso, a taxi driver in Houston, Texas, to carry all kinds of passengers. When he returned to the car, he was shocked to find that he was carrying an uninvited passenger, and a passenger who was not even going to pay the fare was sitting in the corner of his seat. This is a little Cooper Eagle, and it looks like it is trying to avoid the coming weather changes, even if the weather is not really bad yet. But experts explain that birds can often sense strong weather coming, and even before it hits their area, the pressure in the sky may change, leaving the animals needing to find cover. But the eagle behaved really strangely, it was calm, and behaved happily beside the driver, and an eagle should not be so calm in front of a man. This is usually a sign that they are afraid or injured. William didn't want to go home at once, so he left the window open and gave the eagle enough time to fly away, but his hitchhiker didn't take the hint. William left the window open for a while, then went on driving. William decided to go home as soon as possible to help his family prepare for the hurricane. He opened the car door and tried to persuade the eagle to go out. William named the eagle Hurricane Harvey. Thanks for watching our video. See you next time.